Hey everyone, this is Ankita and in this video, we're going to solve another problem on Geeks for Geeks, which is pair by swap elements of a linked list. So the question is, given a singly linked list of size n, the task is to swap elements in the linked list pairwise. So for example, if the given linked list is 1, 2, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then the first pair is 1, 2, then the next pair is 2, 4, the next pair is 5, 6, and then the last pair is 7, 8. So we perform swap in each of the pairs. So after swapping the first pair, the output will be 2, 1. The next pair, it will be 4, 2. For the next pair, it will be 6, 5. And for the last pair, it will be 8, 7. So this should be the output. And we should return the head pointer itself. So we just need to complete the pairwise swap function, which takes head as the only argument. And we need to return the modified head. That will be the pointer will be same, but the list will be the modified one. And the expected time complexity is O of n and the space complexity is O of 1. So let's dive into the code section part. Okay, so the code is pretty simple for this program. So we need to declare two pointers, that is the previous pointer and the current pointer. So the previous pointer will be pointing to the first element and the current pointer will be pointing to the next element of the pair. So first let's declare both the pointers and then we'll proceed. So we have a previous pointer pointing to the first element and then we have a current pointer which will point to the next element. Now, after declaring the two pointers, we need to do the pairwise swapping. So we'll have a loop for this, which will see if the next element and next to next element, that is current arrow next arrow next exist, then only it will enter the loop. That means if our previous is at 1 and current is at 2, if the next two uh, elements, that is the next pair exists, then only it will execute the statements inside the loop. So inside the loop, we'll swap the elements. So our previous is at 1 and current is, uh, is at 2. So first we'll swap both the elements. So we'll just perform swap operations on previous arrow data and current arrow data. And after swapping, we'll jump on to the next pair. So that will be pretty simple. That is previous arrow, next arrow, next and current arrow, next arrow, next. So let me just write it previous equals to previous arrow next arrow next and current equals to current arrow next arrow next. Okay, so inside the loop we are just swapping and we are moving to the next pair. So now out, uh, coming outside the loop, so it's possible that current will come here. So there is an example wherein current will end up here. So in that case, current arrow next arrow next will not exist. So it will not enter the loop. So suppose in this case, first we are swapping these two, fine. Then these two, it will also work. Then five and six and then seven and eight. So in that case, all the elements will get swapped. For example, suppose consider here nine will nine is also there. Then after eight, current arrow next arrow next will be null, which will not exist. So in that case also, we need to swap these two elements. So outside the loop also, we'll perform one swap operation for the last two elements if it's of odd length. So swap previous arrow data and current arrow data. And then uh, since we are not changing the head pointer, so we'll simply return head. Okay, so this is the code for pairwise swap. We are missing one condition over here. That is if the head does not exist and if a single node exists. So for that, we just write a simple if condition. If head is not existing or if only single node exists. So in that case, we simply return the head pointer. Okay, so let's compile and check. It's ready for evaluation. And yeah, so you can see it's the correct output. Let's submit and verify all the test cases. Evaluating. Okay, so it's the correct answer and execution time is 0 0.04. So yeah, this is the entire code for pair by swap elements of a linked list. And thanks for watching the video.